Hello, I'm Laurel House, and I'm going to teach you how to become a personal brand so that you can get out of the cubicle and stop working for the man and work for yourself. It's something that I've been doing for over 12 years, completely supporting myself, working for me from home. But before I teach you how to become a brand, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. So it's about 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Wednesday, and I'm at home sitting on my bed, which is something that I do all the time. I don't always sit on my bed, but I'm almost always at home. I am an internationally known dating and confidence boosting coach and author. And because of that, I also am on TV a lot as an expert, and I'm also hired as a spokesperson by a ton of different brands. My career has evolved from being a lifestyle expert, which was much more broad. I was a travel writer, I reviewed spas, I was a fitness writer and fitness expert, and a paid foodie. So basically, I was doing, writing about, talking about, going on TV about everything that I love. And I honed that into dating because I know dating, I love dating, I'm good at dating, and I'm great at teaching about dating. So my day-to-day, well, it can be crazy. It can also be very, very calm. I generally wake up between 7 and 9 a.m., take a hike for a couple of hours, come home, make some breakfast, hang out with my dog, and then I put my computer on my lap and I work for the rest of the day. I generally work through lunch and dinner. Of course, I eat something, but I don't take those breaks. If I do, I'm listening to an audiobook so that I can continue to learn and expand my mind because I don't like to stop. I am very, very, very driven to a fault, but I dictate my life. I can work every day, including weekends, which I often do, or I can work not at all for a couple of weeks and go on vacation because I feel like it. But again, my days, weeks, months dictated by me. So how did I do it? Well, I built a brand. I built a couple of brands, actually. And the way that I built them is by many, 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 many steps, being very driven, being a self-starter, because no one is going to be harder on me than me. I capitalize on what I know and what I'm good at. I, I am constantly, or I was constantly working for free. I would do things for other people just to get out there, to expand my platform, but working for free strategically. So who do you work for free for? What is it going to give you? How is it going to build your brand? I'm constantly out there talking about myself selling myself, basically. I'm my own publicist. I have hired a publicist, so I don't have to always be my own publicist. But even when I'm out and about, I'm my own publicist. I'm talking about me. I'm selling me because my business is me. So does it seem a little bit egotistical and self-promotional sometimes? Absolutely. Yes, it does. But the fact is I'm getting my name out there and you never know who's going to know someone who's going to know someone who's going to be able to get you on TV or help sell your product or get you a client or whatever it is. So my brands, I currently am building a brand that is a dating brand. It's the No Games Guide to Love, which is a working title. I just sold the book to Running Press. The book is coming out in January 2015, which means I have to build up this brand very quickly. (laughs) I just sold the book, so I have a little over a year to make it happen. My last brand is called Quickie Chick. It's Quick Tips for Chicks. I sold the book to St. Martin's. I had over 12 million views on YouTube for my fitness, food, dating, and lifestyle videos. I became a regular go-to expert for E! News. I was all over the media, People Magazine, uh, Red Book, Glamour, Fitness, Self, all over with my tips. And I was hired as a spokesperson for tons of different different companies. I would go on television on their behalf. I would shoot videos for them. I would do Twitter parties. And the way I did it was by building up my platform, reaching out to people, and not being afraid of the word no. I have always believed ask. The worst thing they can say is no. And ask with confidence. So I'm going to teach you how to build your own personal brand and how to work for yourself so that you can live an extraordinarily fulfilled and happy life. Because you know what, it's also a much healthier life. I exercise, I eat well, I make my own dinner, I go out to dinner, I have time for friends, I have time for vacation, and I also don't have to wear a suit every day anymore. I can just work in sweats. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it too, and you're gonna have 
so much fun and you will be more fulfilled than you ever thought you could be.